a lightweight championship fight between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is three years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Nick. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. Round one. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. This is about as big a fight as we can put together. I mean, we have seen this on more than one occasion, and I gotta be honest, 
I am still as excited as the first time they set foot on the dais for a press conference. This is a big fight. It will always be a big fight. I can't wait to get started. Perhaps we get a little bit of a feeling out process here early. No, these boys hate each other. They just want to fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he hurt a the jab. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job of finding the striking range there. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Head kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right hand upstairs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. Big power shot there. There's another one. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice punch there. Two minutes to remain in the round. Lead left by Diaz. Well, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Ooh. Back and forth we go. Oh, big left. Ooh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, what a right hand by this young man. Real quick leg kick. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Can't take many of those. You better check. Trying to establish that jab once again. The next with a right. Ten seconds now in round one. There's no kill on that leg kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Straight punch lands. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. How's his opponent still staying? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. 70 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And as for the accuracy rate, DC, 48% tonight. Oh! Against... Oh, he might be out! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Punch coming, it's blocked.
misses with the left punch there. Big punch lands over the top. Also gonna follow this one. Under two minutes to go. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, straight right. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John. But he's also got to be very aware of the one he does. Opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Cheek, it's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. All right, with me? Good. Listen, you got that All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's the shit when you have five of them. Oh! Gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has gone stop to this contest at 52 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner.